the first time we see the Tejada crew. I know you guys are going through a hard time. Did you see who shot your mother? No, I didn't see anybody. I wouldn't. I wasn't even down there. I just I showed up and she was on the ground in a pool of blood. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was like, do you know anyone your mother would be beefing with? I <laughs> know. She was a good mother. I was a college student. I, I, I wouldn't know who she was really involved with, but. I know she was just stay at house ever since my father was on the line. She just know she had never been the same. Are you sure you don't know who shot your mother? No, I didn't see her. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I didn't. I promise you, I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't see. I got. I came to my brother's wedding, and and all I know is I got kicked out. And when when this did, I seen him in the pool of blood. I didn't see nobody. Whoa, whoa, they take whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay, it's okay. We might need you to come down to the precinct to answer some further questions. Oh, I don't want to go down there. I got PTSD. Y'all locked my brother's e cup. <gasps> Y'all trying to get my brother clean. Y'all had my dad incarcerated for 10 years and he was innocent. I don't want to go down there. Oh, no. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We, we won't ask you any more questions right now. So now the whole Tejada clan, they sitting around and they looking and Kane actually stands up. But this ain't Kane's story. So we're giving it from Diana's perspective. Diana wipes them tears away because she knows when you are Tejada, you can't let these niggas see you sweat. They willing Monet's body up out of here. It was starting to stink. They getting her out of here. All Diana could think was like, damn. I wanted those earrings that Monet had, but I definitely don't want them now off of a dead body. And them boots, they may not be my size, but I'll just wear extra thick socks. But I'm going to put on them uh, <laughs> them Pradas. So while the family is here, they figure they got to get the hell up out of here. They got to go back to the house. Because guess what? The hustle don't stop. They get to the house and the family just gets to argue. Now, Diana, she's holding her composure. I give Diana credit. When they got to the house, Diana wasn't necessarily tripping. It was more of Kane and Drew going at it. Monet will still be alive. Oh, no, this is your fault, Drew. Didn't y'all want to kill Monet? They're like, hell no. Nah. Diana really ain't saying much. And then you hear Drew say, it's your fault. You tried to marry that bitch. No, ma. we wouldn't even be in this situation because she went in there to save you, Kane. Diana's like, hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Stop this shit. WWMD, what would Monet do? She would love that we working together as a family. And you two are fucking arguing with each other. We're not going to get anywhere. This bitch no one got to pay. Kenny, she's not going to tell us what we do with our life. No one dictates what a Tahana does. If Poppy was here, he would be upset with you two niggas. We need to do something. We sitting around on our ass. No one's out there willy-nilly running around with our daughter. The fuck is wrong with you two? Mom's gone. Papa's gone. It's just us. So Drew and Kane, they start to realize, oh, shit. You might be right. We fuck. My bad, Drew. My bad, Kane. So now the two brothers, they're like, all right, well, let's see what Diana got to say because they all got their differences. But what they see in Monet, they see in Diana. They see that Diana has always been a little sister, but she's actually the mother of the group when Monet left him. She filled that road. Just like Monet said, Kane, you stepped up and became the man in the house when you didn't have to. When Lorenzo got locked, that's what Diana's doing. So we're seeing development in all the characters. Diana's actually stepping up. We've seen tidbits of Diana starting to progress in that direction, thinking that she was capable of making those plays. Yes, yeah, she fucked up with Decade Egan, but this is Diana's story, so I got to support Diana. She made some mistakes. But we were watching her turn into Monet. Now, Monet made mistakes also. Why do you think we have Monday mistakes? Monet made mistakes. And then we say, oh, well, shit, Monet been making mistakes. Then it turned into Monday mistakes. 
Monet made mistakes when she was little when it came to Kane. When she went to go get them bricks behind Lorenzo's back, she made mistakes when she put little Diana and little Drew to work, had them sacking up the dope. So they were little drug babies from the very beginning. So now Diana, she's cracking out of that shell. Every caterpillar has to turn into a butterfly at some point unless a bird get them. But guess what? Ain't no birds getting Diana. She's about to let them wings dry out and fly away with the business. But until then, she got to make sure that her two knucklehead brothers can keep their freaking composure so we can go get that bitch Noma who took our mama out. Yeah, we're going there tonight with Diana. Diana just showed us that she has the potential. We got to break someone down in order to build them up. And Diana's breaking point was when she got stomped the freak out by Felicia. So now we're seeing Demon D. Everyone was calling her Dirty Diana. Demon D. That's what I call her. And Paul's on the D, but Demon in front of that. Demon Diana. Demon Diana. Yeah. See, y'all weren't looking at it from this perspective. You got to put your, well, I can't put my feet in Diana's shoes because I wear an 11. She look like she wear a size four or five in boys. I can't put my shoe, my feet in her shoes. Y'all can. But Diana's holding the family together. And they like, oh, shit, Diana's kind of right. Now, the next time we see Diana, Kane is in here crying like a little biatch. Kane is in here smelling his mama's perfume. <laughs> Diana comes in here and she gets straight to business. What, what did Diana say when she came in here? What did Diana say when she came in here? Bronze and them ready to go. Look, Diana ain't cried since that night. Since she seen Monet getting wheeled up out of there, she cried. She did her little ghost yell. <laughs> After that, Diana been standing on straight business this week. She said, hey, I know you in here crying like a little biatch, but Bronze and the gang, they ready to go. They got the guns. Get your ass up. Exactly, all in. Get your ass up. This nigga in here crying. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that, Kane. I got up this morning at 545, watched the episode, did an hour, 15 minute live, and still went to work. Tired as hell. Didn't take no naps. No days off, Kane. Diana said, get your ass up. So they get up, and now we get to stepping on business. Now, when they get here, initially I thought that was going to be like Anya working with, but it was actually Cousin Bronze. Now, if you look, shout out to my dog Trill. Trill was telling me he doesn't know where Diana went to get this kind of gun training, but the way that she's entering in rooms and surveying the rooms and sweeping it, Diana was the one. You remember when they came in the house? They came in the house. Boom, 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 boom. Knocked six security guards. Who went and did a sweep of the house? Kane? Bronze? Drew? No. Diana came out and said, the house is clear. Ain't no one else in here. Diana was looking for Monet. Diana was not playing around. They got rid of the guard. Diana ran to all the room. You in here? Speak up, bitch. She looked in all the rooms. She came back and told Kane, the house is clear. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm looking for Noma. But they do run into Anya. Now, the whole Anya situation, this has been building up since last week when they were having the, the pre-wedding dinner. They were having the pre-wedding dinner. And Anya and Diana, they were kind of going at it. Anya was calling her to help. Diana was trying to trying to check her, but you know, it, it, it didn't really escalate. You know, we can't let it escalate like that. We all family at the end of the day. Well, they end up getting on you and they got to drag her ass back and say, come on on you. You with us. And I was thinking, at this point, this is where I was like, all right, cool. This might be what I was. Because at first I was saying they kicking the door. And this is where Tariq and Anya were going to run out of it. Now, I had bits and pieces of it correct. 
But I did believe that Anya and Tariq were going to be running away from the Tejadas. So I thought that they were breaking in here. But we know it was further on. What up, EJ? Oh, Samara, I didn't even see you. Hey, my bad. My bad, Samara. You know, I'm over here. They got me distracted. They were clowning me earlier. So, you know, I was trying to wipe my tears away. But the next time we see... Uh, we're not, we're not going to call her a demon. We, next time we see uh, Defiant. There we go. Defiant Diana. Is when they come up with another damn team plan. Now, one thing about these crews, when they start putting together plays, it gets a little out of control. Sometimes the plans work. Sometimes they don't. Right now, they're trying to handle Don Carter. But... The Tejadas ain't worried about Diron Carter. They're more worried about getting Noma. But in reality, in reality, they need to be worried about Diron Carter too because Diane is the one that got rid of Felicia. If I was Tariq, I would have definitely said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I mean, this is, this is Diana's story, but Tariq should have said, wait a minute, Diana. You unalive Felicia and nigga, you told me to kill goddamn Zion, and we on tape. So they got to go to Drew, and Drew's like, all right, look, well, I can go in there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to erase that. So right now, Diana doesn't have anything to do. They're just waiting on a plan, and Tariq says, let him talk to Anya. If he can talk to Anya, then we can get where Noma is located. So they're like, all right, bet. Now, this right here is where freaking Diana gets carried away man Tariq drops Anya off and I knew when I seen Diana pull up to that gate she was either shooting at Noma or Anya Noma comes out in this all white I, I never understand this though Noma knows that they at war. Noma knows that Kane and them are looking for her. She wearing this all white like shit is sweet. I ain't gonna lie. This is a nice little suit here. Where would you wear this to? Where Where is this appropriate, ladies? Where could, where, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about buying a, a lucky woman one of these. What is this, a white suit? Where do you wear this to? Is this just some shit you wear on Saturday? You say you about to go to the mall or something? What do you wear this to? Because this isn't appropriate to be on the run, is it? If you on the run for your life, is this something you will wear? Like, where do you wear this to? To a Diddy, hey, hey, yo. <laughs> to a Diddy party, man. Hell no, nah, you ain't wearing that no Diddy party. Your ass gonna be oily as hell. That oil gonna show on that goddamn white. Conventions, <laughs> horse races. <laughs> Dog, they are they are in a full out war. Just last night, like, come on, man. Last night they just had a shootout. We know last night we confirmed that there was. 12, 13 bodies, including Monet, 13 bodies. The next day, I'm not getting up and putting a suit on. I'm getting up with some sweatpants, uh, probably a, a dry fit long Nike shirt. You know what I'm saying? Just in case I get to run that shit to dry up if I get to sweating. You know, you got to have some dry fit Nike socks on. I got some on right now. You know what I mean? And some briefs and some sweatpants just in case shit get ugly. I got to be able to tuck and roll. I got to be able to jump over the hood of a car or something. But we know that Anya and Noma, they've been arguing. Oh, Anya, you're back. And out of nowhere, pow, 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 Diana be letting that thing loose. And Diana got that bustier on. What's that? What's that? That's, that's what Selena had, the bustier. Anything for Selena's. So Diana then pulled up in all black. She said, I'm going to make sure that my waist is on point, nigga. What waist? Diana pulled up in that all black, and she got the accuracy of me. Diana pulled up, pop, 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 all shots connected. Pop, 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 Kane in the back, like, man, what the fuck? 
Tariq sitting there like, man, what the hell are they doing? Diana don't give a damn. Diana is sliding. She said, I'm coming up here with the bomber jacket, the waist trainer on, no draws, and all black boots, nigga. What's happening? Pop, pop, pop. Anya catching all the hot slugs. I'm talking about my back is on fire. Tariq looking like, man, what the hell? This was not the plan. Blood is everywhere. This is why you don't wear Gucci loafers when you in the heat of a battle. Look, she didn't put this all white on. She got these damn sandals on where her feet can fall out the back. Anya was tripping. Noma was tripping. But this, I guess this is what happened when you got money. You walk around like your shit don't stink. Well, today, Diana made sure everybody's shit stank. Fop, fop, fop. Right through the Burberry. I didn't even know she was mismatching the designer. She got a Burberry carnigan on with Gucci shoes. Diana don't like that. We don't mismatch designer. It's either you pick or choose one or the other. And if you're going to wear both of them, then you will have to pay. There are consequences for mismatching. So pop, pop, pop. Then they get to shooting back. If you look right here, there's a bullet. Whoever shot this gun right here, whoever shot this, the bullet hits the damn door. Pow! Right at the lock. That nigga Kane duck like, shit, these niggas ain't playing around. Diana like, oh, they shooting back. These niggas got to run off. They hopping the Mustang. I think it's a 5.0, but it might be the generic ass Mustang. Let me see. No, it's a 5.0. So they hopping the, the 5.0. Lord knows where they got this whip from. But boom, they getting up out of there. Diana got on the cargo pants. I thought she had a skirt on at first. My bad. I apologize. She go up. She got she got the boy shorts on up on there. You can't be sliding in the thong. So she got the boy shorts on up out of here because you got to be flexible. You got to be comfortable. She getting up out of here. Pop, pop, pop. Tariq is looking like, what the hell? They getting the bucking at Tariq, too. Tariq drive off. Anya's over there. <gasps> 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 I'm sorry for everything I said. R.I.P. Anya. So Anya gets the bleeding out. We're like, damn, there go body number seven right there. After that, shit, man, you know, three getting pissed. Tariq talking about, man, what the fuck, man? What are you doing, Diana? And Diana talking about. So they all had a plan. And now we realize why Diana is no different than her mama. Diana is no different than her mama. As soon as a plan goes wrong. Monet and Diana, as soon as the plan goes wrong, let's say we're going like we're going down this path. We got to go. All right, we're going to make a right up here. We go up and make a right. There's a barrier. All right. This barrier we can't climb over. We got to go around the barrier instead of going around the barrier so we could still stay on track for what our initial plan was. Monet and Diana, they turn around and they go left. They go all the way down and they go left. And now we're wondering where the hell they at? Cause they didn't got their ass lost cause they doing their own thing. Then you look down there. Hey, Monet, Diana, Monet in a damn shootout. One B 20 versus no one in the whole game. She get popped. Diana goes one B 20 versus no one in the gang. Again, shoots Anya, which wasn't the plan. We were going to set up Noma and now we're fucking screwed again. So now we're back to point a, it's like, dog, we can't get anywhere. The Tejadas are just fucking bad juju. You do anything with a Tejada. I know this is Diana's story, but I'm just trying to point out, she just like her fucking mama. Jeez Louise. Why would Diana hop out? All right, this is the plan. We're going to sneak up on Noma. Shh, be quiet. 
We're going to sneak up on Noma. We got the local. Okay, she's in the mansion. We're going to catch them when they leave and when she got two or three security guards. It was 19 niggas on the roof. Niggas came from up under the house. Did you see the, the light-skinned dude came from up under the house? I said, where the hell did this dude come from? They had niggas in the basement. Niggas is on the roof. Let me show you. It was one nigga that came out the basement. I said, where the hell did this nigga come from? Did y'all see this nigga? This nigga came out the basement. Everybody else was upstairs and on the balcony. It was one nigga that came out the basement. I said, what the hell? This nigga was down here chilling. Why wasn't security out here opening up the gate? They just let Anya walk all the way up here. This nigga was in the room sleep. You know you be at work. You doze off a little bit. Hey, you know, not to incriminate ourselves, but, you know, we're going to keep it real. It's the weekend. Put a, put a three in the chat. Put a three. You know how it is. You at work. You sitting at your desk. You doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your eyes get a little heavy. You may look at look at your phone real quick. Look at the group chat. Shit. Huh? Oh, no, no, nothing. Uh, no, nah, we, with this report, you wanted it, you wanted it tomorrow, you said? Yeah, I got, I did. I got you, don't worry. No, nah, it's just my sinuses. It's fucking. Everybody in the fell asleep a little bit. This nigga was in the, he was in the basement chilling. Them gunshots were out there. Oh shit, the nigga woke up, came out the basement like, nigga, get your ass to work, man. Look at Noma. She really genuinely looks scared, too. Oh, man, let me get focused, man. So Tariq is going off. Man, Diana, you fucked up every day. No, she had to feel what we had to feel. That pain, that pressure. Tariq is like, man, I can't wait to get done with you, Negroes. Okay, like, man, I ain't trying to hear that Don Carter shit. No one is still alive. So no one is on the same page. And you seen, uh, <laughs> look at Davis. Davis is just looking at everybody like, man, what the hell they talk about? But after that, we know what's going to happen. They go back to the house. <laughs> they go back to the house. And Kane starts to tell them about a flight plan. And he's talking about, man, look, let's just let's just set Noma up. Let's set the bait out there. Let's book a flight. So it's a thing called a flight plan, guys. I don't know if any of you guys ever booked a flight online. You know, you got to put your name in there, your passport number. So, you know what I'm saying, you book your seat. But then they, you know what I'm saying, they got the manifest, the passenger manifest, so they know everyone that's on the plane. So if you got a vegan meal, they come over to you. Oh, Mr. Moore. Oh, you didn't order a vegan meal? No, I didn't order a vegan meal. I just put one down on there so you could come over here and serve me first. I don't actually want a vegan meal. Is it chicken or pasta today? I'll take the pasta. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I'll take the pasta. Yeah. Do you have um do you have Remy on board? Oh, I forgot this is American Airlines. <laughs> I'm so used to traveling Delta. They got Remy on board. But uh, matter of fact, if you could just give me a um a gray goose, give me two of the little gray gooses and I'll be all right. You know, I'll just take those in the in the other uh, pasta. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, you know how it go. You know how it go. I always book a vegan meal, but when they ask you, hey, did you order the vegan meal? No, I didn't. It must have been an accident. Then they'll bring you your regular meal early. <laughs> you know, there's just little ways to cheat the airlines. I won't say cheat the airline because they cheating me. I'm going to London next week. Flight was $200, but I got to pay. No. I use my points. Flight was $67, but I got to pay $111 for one bag. You out your mind. <laughs> I'm about to bring two carry-ons. You nigga, I'm not paying no $111. You out your cotton-picking mind. Yeah, I said it. Cotton-picking mind. I'm not paying no $111 for one fucking check bag. I'm going to have goddamn two big-ass carry-ons, a big-ass duffel, and a little bitty suitcase. Fuck that. I'd be down paying $111 for a bag. And he kissed my ass. 
<laughs> but anyway, they got the flight plan. They like, look, we're gonna set the bait. We're gonna have Noma come and meet us. What up, Brillo? Oh, my dog Brillo is in the house. <laughs> Reload a big review has entered the building. Please put on your seatbelt. There will be a little bit of turbulence because this nigga keeps it real. Yeah, they got the flight plan. The only thing I didn't like, shout out to my dog Brillo. The one thing I got to point out the group, I mean, not the groupie, point out the goofy is when they get to the hangar. This right here was the most goofiest moment ever. This was the goofiest moment in the whole episode. Look how this nigga can't dog. They wait till they get to the hangar. We about to be sliding. Let's make sure our weapons are loaded. Let's make sure we got we got a jump on when they come in the building. This nigga Kane is standing here like this. What's your first thoughts of Monet? <laughs> oh, shut up, Kane. Like, nigga, we're about to ride on. We should have did this shit at the house. Why are we waiting until we get to the hangar to start reminiscing about Monet, man? It shouldn't be no smiles, no giggles. Business. They wait till they get to the hangar. Like, man, what was your first? What was the, what was the first thing you remember about Monet? <laughs> Well, one of my memories is <laughs> you wouldn't believe this game because mom didn't have you doing this. But my first memory is I broke down a brick at the age of four. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what 17.5 was, but mom kept telling me 17.5, Diana, 17.5. I was like, mom, what is 17.5? She said 16 O's. I said, what is 16 O's, mom? I don't know. I didn't know. Oh, I just can't. I just don't remember having a childhood. Monet was just so mean. I don't, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but Monet slapped me. <laughs> Monet choked me in the bathroom. <laughs> Monet was mad. I took the million dollars and got Poppy out of jail when it was Poppy's million dollars. <laughs> Fuck Monet. <laughs> Why are we here? It's Monet's fault we're in the game. She lied about Zeke. She lied about Mecca. She lied about Lorenzo. What? Why would Monet do this to us, Kane? Why? So they in here reminiscing about what the fuck their first memories was with Monet. And out of nowhere, you hear, whoop, whoop, the goddamn police show up. The police show up out of nowhere. We're like, wait a minute. Why are the police with Noma now? Unbeknownst to us, we don't know that Noma's been a fucking rat for two whole seasons. Matter of fact, she's probably been ratting the whole time she's been alive because she was fucking with Dante. And if they were that okay with Dante being a rat, which, remember, uh, Brother Chin knew that Mecca was a rat, and he was like, how do you know Dante? That means he knew his sister was a fucking rat, too. So this whole time they've been trying to put this Noma the big bad guy. Noma was a rat. Just like the nigga before her Mecca was a rat. We ain't letting that shit slide, man. They ain't gonna just throw that in. Jenny, they just gonna say, well, you know, she turned state to, to save herself. Hell no, nah, y'all not just gonna throw that shit in there like we, no, no, no. Y'all niggas should have told us that she was a rat from the first time we seen her on the screen when she chopped that finger off of that ring. So we're gonna like, oh, we don't give a fuck. She a rat. Y'all waited two seasons to tell us that she was a rat. Nah, we ain't playing that game. No, I'm on your ass when we get to you. But let's continue on. What up, Zay? They in here. They in here talking about, man, what's your first memory of Monet? Nigga, fuck Monet, nigga. We waiting on that, uh, Noma to show up. Well, Noma does show up. And Noma, sh Noma shows up with the Calvary. Woo -woo, hands up on the ground. Kane's like, man, I love y'all, man. Don't do nothing stupid, man, but just go out there. Just go out there. Yeah, man, Tay. Yeah, I, I reviewed the Penguin. So starting next week, we're going to have Penguin on.
My bad, y'all. The internet acting a damn fool over here. All right. We back. We good. Can y'all hear me? Put a one, put a one, put a one, put a one. Man, y'all know, y'all know this German internet. It be all right during the day, but we getting into these winter months. Oh, this shit going to be acting a damn fool. All right, bet. Well, anyway, the police show up. Let me go ahead and finish this story up. The police show up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get your asses on the ground. Kane, like, man, I ain't going out like no hoe, nigga. Y'all get up out of here. Watch closely, though. Watch closely. So they escort Diana and Drew out. They put them in handcuffs. Kane, he runs away. Bow. Kane catches Noma, but the police start to catch Kane. Did y'all see what they did to Drew? This police officer used Drew as a damn shield. That's how you get down. If I'm a cop and there's bad guys, now I can never be a cop because I just don't believe in locking nobody up. I can't see me giving anybody a speeding ticket, let alone like someone, hey, 911, come to the house. Like, okay, what happened here? Oh, man, she broke my PlayStation. He hit me. Man, both you niggas is going to jail. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who did what. Everybody going to jail. But this cop grabbed Drew when they got to shooting. And he did what anybody would do. He did what anybody would do. Protect yourself. Hey, Ice, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to your comment, Ice. Ice, uh, Ice cracked the guy said before we had technical difficulties. Is Force coming out next? No, Raising Canaan is next. And then I think BMF and then Force. So we probably won't get Force until like the spring. Because it is the, the last season for Force. So I think they would want to drop it in more a uh, more active season. And then DeMarcus said, who is uh, more evil? No more Claudia. Probably Claudia. No man really did nothing, man. Claudia would actually go put in some work. No man really did nothing, in my opinion. But they used Kane as a shield. That was cool. That was dope. I thought that was dope. They would have used Drew as a shield. Pop, 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 pop. They get the shooting. Kane makes it out of here. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So the last time we see Diana is when she goes to talk to Drew. Now, you know they always say, well, we didn't see a funeral, Mo. We don't know if they're alive or they're unalive. Well, Drew says he's going to Paris after the funeral. There was never a funeral. She's like, no, 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 stay here. We can get the business up and running. He said, man, that's your dream. And what resonated with me, I got you, Brillo. What resonated with me in, in Drew's character, so you know the whole, like, I, I live in Germany now. It'll be one year on October. Actually, tomorrow will be my one-year anniversary because I started working on the 10th. Damn, that one year went by fast. But what resonated with Drew in my life, none of that he he stuff. But you heard what he said. Cain sacrificed himself for us. Monet died for us. He got to live his life. He can't let that go to waste. And that's what my dad always tells me. When I made the decision to move back over to Europe, he said, man, as much as I love you and I want you to be here so we can come and visit you whenever, he said, man, you still got to go and live your life. So that's one thing that, like, when I seen Drew was like, man, fuck it, I'm going to Paris. I was like, man, that's what's up, man. Sometimes you got to you gotta do what's best for you. Of course, you, you love your family and everything, but you got to do what's best for you. And Drew realized that this lifestyle is not sustainable. Getting back in the dope game for what? Like, man, I'm good on all that. So Drew got up out of here. And Diana's kind of hurt because it's just her. We know Kane is on the run. She said Kane had contacted her. And he's safe. So then she goes into this kitchen. She got this big ass house by herself. She's looking around like, man, what the hell? What can we do? She's having flashbacks. You know that dinner table is deadly, man. That dinner table. I knew you was going to let that nigga hit. Tariq, we raised you better than that, Diana. That dinner table will get to you, man. So she's looking at it like, damn, man. Hold on, we're missing you. Uh -huh. She's looking around. She's thinking about Monet. 
with them damn unseasoned greens. She thinking about all the laughs they had. It, it, it's just memories, you know what I mean? When I moved from California back to Kansas City before I, you know, say it came over here, I just walked around my apartment, you know what I mean? Like my last day, I I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I hopped in the whip, had some good dodo, hit the road, man. I went up to San Francisco, went out to uh, Oakland. I sat out on the pier in Oakland, shed a thug tear, got back in the car, went back to the crib. It was empty. Put my shit in the whip, gassed up, and I went back, went to sleep, got up and got on the road, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. The pandemic was a was a grand old time for me, man. It really made my channel what it is today. And I know how Diana is feeling right now. I got to get back in the game, man. I got to get back to them first reactions. Just like Diana want to get back in the dope game. I got to get back on them first reactions. Don't nobody break these showdowns like me and Diana. Good old times. And that's Diana's story right there, man. Good old Diana, man. All right, bro. I'm about to drop you the link, brother. What y'all think about Diana? Is she the next Monet to Holland? 